Residents of Taha and adjoining communities are asking government to fix their deplorable roads. They say the roads have claimed a lot of lives through accidents. The residents also say the contractor abandoned the project a few months after work started on it. A report by Martina Bugri. The Taha Road a few months ago was riddled with potholes making it very difficult for commuters to use. This forced drivers to stop using the road after a particular time of the day. Vehicles owners complained of constant breakdown and cost of spare parts. Then the road was graded to aid movement. But this is seen by the residents more as a nuisance because of the dust that emanates any time vehicles pass. Business owners are the most hit. Maria Yaku, a chemical seller, said the constant cleaning of the drugs make the drugs look old and expired. You see the wall, look at the walls. They are all dirty, inside dirty. Even if you paint it, it will still be like that because of the dusty road. So the inside to look at, we just mob it yesterday night, but look at how it is. So it is not only the drugs, but the surroundings. Another seller, Hamdia to Abdu Wadud, said the dust keeps contaminating her food. This bar is my bar. I don't see it in the food. Here, somebody come and dust to this area. <laughs> My husband is a mason, and because the rains has stopped, people with high cost of money, there are no jobs. So he supported me with some capital to prepare rice and sell so that we can feed. But because of the dust, people come around and they don't buy. It's affecting sales seriously. I and my husband are from Boko, and we all know what is happening in Boko. The Taha Road is one of the most important roads in the Sanergo and Tamale municipality. Vehicles who move to the landfill site and the major gravel pit use that road. Vehicle after vehicle that pass tear dust making it very difficult for people to breathe. Another resident, Mohamed Awal Dukurgo said, the road serves six communities, but has been neglected and appeal for it to be fixed. This road has been given to contract since 20, uh, 2002. And they came, the contractor came and started the bridges to uh, Taha. They didn't even reach up to Balai, not even reach up to uh, Fu, and stopped and ran away up to now. As I'm speaking now, we don't even know where the contractor is. We don't know what about about the route. And as I'm speaking now, you can see, even recently that our MP came out for a, a, a bulldozer to pull out the route for us to, to follow. And as I'm speaking, you can also see the houses, all the houses, you can't even wash your things and dry it. You can't even wash your things and dry it. So we are appealing to the government or the contractor, if he's hearing what I'm saying, he should come out. He should come out immediately and do something about the route for us. Uh, uh, Tha people are suffering, Boye people are suffering, Balai people are suffering about the route. For Joy News, Martina Bugri reporting.